Welcome to Fayetteville, and whoo pig Sue as the Arkansas Razorbacks are ready to take the field. We've got a terrific matchup for you today, rich in pageantry and tradition, and it ought to be a fantastic clash. As we'll see a squad from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes, taking on a team from the SEC, the Arkansas Razorbacks. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. The Buffaloes will get us started with the opening kickoff. And he takes this from inside the five. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. The Razorbacks' return team certainly didn't do the offense any favors there. Here he comes, and obviously a defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. Now on first down from the 28. They'll ride the hot hand. He picks up maybe a couple before he stopped right at the 30-yard line. Now that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. After picking up a couple at second and eight, Wide receiver shows motion. Leaves it with the running back. Pretty good job of running to get two there to the 32. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. Looking to throw. It's green. Complete to the left. They got him free for a big gainer to the 43. Remember some of the years when the Hogs spent a lot of time in the Wildcat just running it? You don't have to do that with this guy at quarterback. And it just makes you less predictable, right? You, you got a running back in there, you know you're not going to throw it very much, but when they do have the ability to push the ball down the field and get some guys out of the box, it makes this offense even more exciting. He'll pull it on the read. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. I'll tell you, this is a hard defense to run against if you're going to go sideline to sideline because of that guy's speed at linebacker. He can get all the way to the perimeter, chase the quarterback down on the option, and make the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Impressive. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. At the 35, he's got more. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on first down. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. To the air on first down. Let's it fly deep downfield. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. Well, it looked like that might be the first touchdown of the game, but what a great job by the defender, seeing the football and swatting it away. Second down after that incompletion. They'll give it to the back. Tackle is made after a pickup of six down to the 19-yard line. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Eighth play on this opening drive coming up, and they need a third down conversion. To the air, it's green. 
can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And they'll send out the field goal unit. The kicker will reach for a 36-yard attempt. Between the uprights, it's good. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before. And here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drive. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've got the lead. Head coach has to be happy. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. So Colorado's offense has the ball for the first time. And a big key as this game unfolds is just how aggressive will he be throwing the football at a lockdown corner like that. Yeah, and when you're an elite quarterback, you think you can do whatever you want to do. And you think you can make the right decisions. I'm interested to see how much he'll test that cornerback on the other side. You know, there's a saying, there's no defense for a perfect pass. But he's got to be extra careful and sharp when he's throwing that guy's way. And the Buffaloes headed quickly to the line. He'll keep it himself. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. They'll try to run for it. And he gets it done on third down. They move the chains, and they'll mark it at the 44. This running back loves running into the teeth of the defense. In between the tackles, he keeps a low pad level, and he's got some speed. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. Oh, and they'll try to catch him with a pass. He's got it inside the 25. And this offense is feeling it as they rip off a big chunk of yardage, and they've got it on the 22. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. Looking for a crease. It's Hayden there to stop him after a pickup of one to the 22. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Wants to throw. It's Sanders. Fires to the wideout. Touchdown, Buffaloes! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point makes it 7-3. to three. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. The kickoff unit about to go to work. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. 
And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. Be interesting to see what happens here in the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Takes a handoff. It's Jackson. Out from 35, he's open. Good, solid pickup on that one. They've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. When the running back gets going and gets ahead of steam like that, it's so hard to get to the ground. That's why you blitz. That's why you bring pressure. That's why you bring more guys in the box so you can get him before he gets going. But once he got going, you could tell it was hard to get a hand on him, hard to get him to the ground. From the shotgun, the inside kick. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Back to throw. It's Green. Makes his connection. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. The Hogs getting it done through the air, evoking memories of Ryan Mallett. And that's what the fans of Arkansas want to see. They've always got that physical ground game. They always want to have a little bit of balance. And when they get that balance, they get that offense cooking. They get everybody pretty excited. You might even get a woo, pig sweet. He wants to throw. Zings it complete to the right. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. After that last completion, it's second down. Give to the single back. Pass the sticks, and he may get more. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And you really can't be called the Hogs if you're not willing to grind it out in the dirt. Yeah, and I love calling the offensive linemen the Hog Mollies. In Arkansas, in that beautiful state, you're going to find a bunch of big, strong individuals. And the identity of that team is usually built on those guys up front. They'll test the right side. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and 10. Fast motion from the offense. On second down, he's looking downfield. Can't make the grab. Quarterback just missed him a little bit. Ball spotted at the 27. They're facing a third and long to try to keep their hopes of a touchdown alive. Trying to get to him with the catch. It's the Tegna. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Both teams made no secret. They wanted to target their big play receivers, and they've done just that in the first. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. And the Razorbacks getting set on first and ten. From the gun, the ground game. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. 
and I don't care if I get it by two, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. The Razorbacks have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he'll take it in. Touchdown, Arkansas! There have been miniseries, novels, movies, long-form plays that have been over in a shorter period of time than that drive. That was a marathon. And that's just so frustrating when you're a defensive guy time and time again trying to get the stops, and they just keep making the plays, and they punch it in for a touchdown? Demoralizing. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point gives them a three-point lead at 10 to seven. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's amazing how a play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series, but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, you've got the offense right where you are. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. And the Buffaloes want to pick up the tempo. Dropping back, it's Sanders. From the comfort of the pocket, he fires it to the right. And he was loose and out the gate and doesn't go down until he gets to the 48-yard line. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play. And I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. They were backed up, and then suddenly they weren't. They've got it first and 10 now inside the 50. He'll do it himself. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And that option game can be tricky, right? But nice job by the defense playing assignment football. And watch the linebacker, you can tell. Locked in on the quarterback, chases him down, gets to him. Not only gets to him, doesn't let him break the tackle, gets him on the ground. Couldn't get a block on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Some misdirection with the counter. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. And he makes the catch inside the 25. Touchdown, Bucks! Reeled it in and just made the house call. This offense is really dangerous because of the weapons they have on the perimeter of the field. And you're seeing they go to these guys early and they try to give them opportunities in one-on-one -on -one situations and vertically down the field. Two passing touchdowns now early for this offense. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. 
So that scoring drive took only six plays. And a finisher coming on a touchdown pass from 52 yards out. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. Back and forth we go on these last couple of drives, David. Everybody moving the ball. Man, these offenses are in a rhythm. Everything they're doing right now is working, a lot of scoring. This puts a lot more pressure on your offense, Palmer, when you walk on the field. And at this point, too, David, which defense can break serve, right? Who can get a stop? That's what it feels like is going to be the determining factor in this game. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. They go to the ground. And how about the work up front by that big defensive line? It's an offense that takes pride in being physical. They try to get it going on the ground, but no gain on that one. Just nowhere to run. Not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carrier. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Snares it outside. It's Jackson. And as an offense, that's just why you cannot get behind the sticks in these types of situations. Third in California is hard to complete and is hard to convert for anybody. And even though the running back is able to do something positive on that third down play, it's just too many yards to gain, and now they're forced to punt. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Makes a move. Little pressure on the coverage team there, and they'll stop him at the 47-yard line. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Give to the running back. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down, the defense thinks you might be running the football. You still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. The Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry up. Running back searching for a hole. Good execution. They move the sticks, and they've got it at the 33. Man, who says you can't run up the middle anymore, right? Everybody thinks, I got to make big plays. I got to go way out to the left, way out to the right, way out in space. Nope, right down the middle. Nice blocking. How about the running back? You could tell the speed, the wheels, does a great job getting down the field, making a huge rushing play. To the ground with the back. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Great job at contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Back to throw. It's Sanders. He finds his man. Yeah, you throw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion, nice catch. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Oh, what a grab by the defense. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. What a big game-changing play. I love when you see defensive players, they jump on the ball like they were the offensive guy. So aggressive, going and getting that pick, creating some big mojo for your team. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. He's looking to throw. Grabbed in the middle. It's Sategna. 
They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking downfield, it's Green. Finds his man. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. The defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. The hurry up now. Second down. Clock ticking. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Just too much juice on that one as he airmails his receiver out of bounds. It seemed like there may have been a miscommunication there between the QB and receiver, just not on the same page. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. The aerial assault continues. A little screen to the running back. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. It's a nice effort by the running back, but in that third and long situation, it's it just too much work for that running back to convert that third down. Really nice job. Got to give the defense credit. They surrounded him, got him to the ground. And the Razorbacks will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Quick strike complete. Well, these wide receivers are so fast nowadays. They're such big playmakers. I just want to get it to them and let them make it happen. But a lot of times, we're running to them, too. We're focused on chasing it down and funneling the football in the right direction. The defense Swarm did a good job getting their hand on the football and causing the fumble for the wide receiver. Here comes the offense on first down. Looking to move it through the air. A shot toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. When I'm an offensive coach, I'm going to take shots. I'm going to take those 50-50 balls. And most of the time, I'm going to trust my wide receiver to come down with it. The defensive back said, no, sir. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Back to pass. It's green. Complete. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. They started in a great spot, but now facing a third and four. From the gun, wants to pass. Working that left side. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, Razorbacks! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. On to attempt the try. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they top it off with a 31-yard toss for six. So they got the touchdown now, going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. As it turns out, the fumble on that last drive set up the touchdown, David. And there's no bigger stat in football than turnovers. You turn the football over, they turn it into points. Jesse, that is not a recipe for success. Good news, though, they get another chance, right? They can make amends with this drive right here. That's all that's important. You've got to execute, and you've got to lock in. Line getting set on second down. Running to the left. 
May not be the most memorable play of the day, but it's important as he gets him out to the 25-yard line. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, you've been calling an intriguing one so far in Fayetteville. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. And with that, let's hear another hog call and send it back to the guys in Razorback Stadium. The Razorbacks will kick it off to start the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Pass the first down marker and still running. And he's brought down after a nice game. You're down. Obviously, at the half, you had a conversation. we got to come out and put points on the board. And, Jesse, it looks like they're going to start with the ground game. And I love this, David, too. Regardless of whether they're losing or they're winning, come out here and try to be the most physical unit here in the second half. Get this run game established. He's going to pass. A strike downfield. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chain. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. And the Buffaloes racing to the line in the hurry up. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And a big-time grab there. Knocked down immediately, but not before he gets it to the 40. Just another big play for this guy who spent the entire game wide open. Couple of touchdowns there, and he moves the sticks again, David. Yeah, so I'll keep finding him, Reese. I mean, this is a guy that, listen, we're in the second half now. He's already made plays. I know I can trust him, so I'm going to continue to feature him in this offense because I know he'll continue to make big plays. Caught over the middle. It's Hunter. Lowers those pads. Touchdown, Colorado! And with that, they've got the lead here in the second half. And these slants are so hard to defend when the ball's thrown like that. The receiver catches it, and he's catching it going so fast. And you could tell the defense couldn't quite get the right angles, and he does the rest, uses his speed, gets all the way to the end zone. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they take a 21-17 lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score comes on a pass from 40 yards out. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his spot. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Caught in the backfield. It's Armstrong. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. 
He was not fooled on that one. You know, a lot of times you want to buy space, and you throw this route really when it's off coverage. But you could tell the cornerback was up, ready to come, pounce on that screen, and get the tackle for a loss. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Unloads it left. Got him downfield. Love to see these third down conversions on offense, and they're out to their own 39-yard line. This proficiency in the passing game can take you back to yesteryear. One of the great quarterbacks in Arkansas history and Joe Ferguson. Yeah, just slinging the pill. Just being able to, being able to provide balance, being able to attack down the field, get people out of the box, and, and not be predictable. That's a really good job by this quarterback. To the air. It's green. Got his man on the right. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. I think really good wide receivers do a good job of making every route kind of look the same. You could tell he, he this looked like a vertical route. So if I'm a DB, I'm bailing, and all of a sudden, he sits that hitch down. Nice job by the wide receiver, creating enough separation to create a positive game. Here's the handoff. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. And, you know, when we talk about great third down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long. So that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quick pass on the fly motion. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they've got it at the 40. It's so important this offense is able to get this guy the ball in space, especially in the perimeter of the field. And I love that last play call because he's able to get outside and use his speed. To me, that's where this guy is most dangerous. And the Razorbacks are moving quickly down the field. Gets it out fast. And that's a very productive first down play of bringing up second and three. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yardage situations. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Everybody talks about DBs. They talk about dropping in coverage and not being physical. <laughs> That DB begs to differ. Great tackle coming up, playing physical like a linebacker. They've controlled the football on this drive. The eighth play will be a third and three. They'll try to get it through the air. Setting up the screen. And that did not work. Defense smelled that one out from the beginning. And, man, that is not the third down execution you want. Trying to get it to a playmaker so he can make plays. He gets nowhere, actually loses yards, and brings up a fourth down now. They'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit. Everything will have to be clean from 55 yards away. And he's got it counted all the way to 55. Never in doubt. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse. And they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make? Because they got to stop the bleeding right now. And the Buffaloes want to crank the tempo. Looking to throw at Sanders. Fires to the middle. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. The big tight end tries to make a catch, and you could tell it extends for the ball, but great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit, 
dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it. And the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. Throws to the wideout. Got it in the middle. It's Hunter. Really nice pickup there as they have it out to the 44 with the first down. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And, of course, he said the open one. But we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously, the politically correct answer. But you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. you got that bond and that trust. Leaves it with the back. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Stopping the run is very high on every defensive coordinator's list. Making the team one-dimensional. Nice job stuffing the run on that play right there. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. On the ground with the counter. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. There's just so much for this defense to think about right now. They've had strong side runs thrown out there. Now the counter. They know that this offense can work in the play action off of all these base runs, too. So much offensive volume this defense needs to worry about at this point in the game. Wants to throw on third. Caught near the sticks. It's Hunter. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. Third down, a lot of times, it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open. Who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. For a wide receiver screen to work, you've got to have better blocking out in front by other receivers, and they're just not physical enough at the point on that last play. So after the first down run, here's second down. Dropping back, it's Sanders. He makes the connection. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. Big catches, big plays, tons of yards through three quarters for these two guys. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. Snagged in the middle. It's Hayden. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. Boy, the defense really needed to get off the field there, and they just couldn't do it, and it's a fresh set of downs. Man, that hurts. When you're trailing late in the ball game, you need those stops, and you get them to third down. You get them to those critical points. Now they get the first down. You don't have many left. You better get aggressive. Trying to find his man on first down. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. You know what's interesting? At this point of the game, with the lead in the fourth quarter, the defense is expecting them to run the ball. And because they're putting so many guys close to the line of scrimmage, they're taking advantage, throwing it. Two straight completions now back to back. And this offense not only has a chance to extend the lead on first and goal, but they can also drain the clock. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got them right where I want. Okay, I'm going to throw the football now. I can get back in shotgun. Forget the running game stuff. We'll play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. 
the run up the middle, trying to find his way to the goal line. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. Looking to the end zone on third and goal. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. That's an interesting call going play action on third and long because the defense is not worried about you handing the football off. That's not freezing anybody, especially these defensive ends. They're going right up the field. You saw that time the pocket collapse as they were able to get to the quarterback. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with this foot. That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. Perfect. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather on the run from inside his own five not a lot of space to be found good hustle by the coverage team and they stop him at the 21 and arkansas ready to send out this offense man how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little jesse that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. When you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. He's got an open man. Just what they were looking for to get this drive rolling there out to the 35. Sometimes your tight end's a safety valve, and sometimes he's your go-to receiver. And the offense knew right away it was the primary target. It was where he was going with the football, because you know you get a little bit of suck up from those linebackers with the play action, and you feed the big fella. To the air. It's green. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. The Razorbacks will snap it on first and ten. Quarterback on the keeper. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Nice job by the defense shutting down all the options. Making sure it wasn't easy to read. Nice job going to the quarterback and getting him on the ground. They'll line up for a second down play. It'll be a draw. And they pick up just one. It'll be third and nine. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D-tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double-teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, going up top, using the quick game. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. They didn't quite get that route run deep enough to pick up the first down. Now they've got a fourth and short. And I think everybody at home tends to yell at their television set. Why aren't you getting past the first down marker? Why did you run your route short? Defense did a good job knowing where that was. But now, fourth down, offense has to make a decision. Incomplete on fourth down. And man, did they need to keep that drive alive. First down for this offense. And some people won't like that, but I like aggressiveness. And that's who they are as an offense, so it's okay to be aggressive. But I know one thing now. After that fourth down stop, 
and you're trailing, I'm going to need my defense to be aggressive. It's going to be a big possession right here in the fourth quarter to get me the football back. Time is on their side, and they're going to wind that play clock all the way down. Part of the backfield. It's Horn. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get the ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. The give and tick, 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 tick. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. Now they'll line it up from the 44 on first and 10. They move the tight end all over. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. It's first and 10 from the 44-yard line. Right back to the well. You'll take this every time, five yards on the first down play. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. No reason to do anything here except keep it on the ground on second and five. Movement here from the tight end. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it that? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. He'll pull it on the read. The Buffaloes get it past the sticks. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. How great is it to be an offensive coordinator having a quarterback like this? Because he can go and generate first downs with you throwing the ball and running the ball. It seems like there's nothing this kid can't do. 